So if we, let's say, look at uh, properties around the uh, OCR region, outside core central region, right? Usually in this kind of places, uh, resale property is about 1,002 per square feet. Uh, maybe it's about 20 years old. And a new launch can go about $1,006 or $1,007 per square feet, right? So in terms of absolute pricing, definitely new launches are more expensive than a resale property in the same location. But the, the, the irony is that there are still a lot of people buying new launch properties today because of capital appreciation potential for new launches. That is the answer. So you may be wondering, you know, uh, why is it that uh, for new launches, the price is already so high, whereas the resale property has less potential for capital appreciation. Now, the thing is this, um, when buyers buy a property from, uh, let's say, the new launch market, essentially they're buying from the developer and developer actually control the pricing of how much they want to sell their properties. So, for example, for new launch, right, in the OCR region, uh, let's say 1,006 per square feet and let's assume there are 1,000 units in the new launch project, right? All 1,000 owners will be buying about the same price, about $1,006 per square feet. So next time, let's say uh, three to four years down the road, when construction is over, uh, when all these buyers collect key, those who want to sell the properties definitely will be selling higher than $1,006 per square feet because it doesn't make sense for them to, to sell at, at anything lower than the price they, they paid. So uh, in this whole you know, price discovery process, is eventually some buyers will be buying into that resale property, right? And definitely the, the kind of pricing will be higher than the initial launch price. Let's say for example, 1,008 per square feet. So the price actually gone up by 200. And if buyers are willing to pay 1,008 per square feet for a fairly new launch property that has, has just TOP, then that becomes the new benchmark for that you know, new launch property that's just gone into the resale market. So that is the kind of potential we are looking at for this initial price uh, increment where all the buyers bought at the same price from developers during the launch. Now for the resale market, what happens is that um, let's say it's a 20-year-old resale property. Today is uh, 1,002 per square feet. And the thing is that uh, over the last 20 years, those buyers who bought maybe right at the launch 20 years ago, they paid $400 per square feet. All the way until today, uh, a resale buyer buys at you know, $1,002 per square feet. So the thing is that after the resale buyer buys at $1,002 per square feet, most of the neighbours who have bought earlier would have bought at a cheaper price, lower than $1,002. And today, they are already sitting on uh, paper gain, right? a potential capital appreciation, even if they sell at $1,002 today. Right? So in the next, uh, let's say one year, two years, five years, ten years, even the price does not go above $1,002. Most of the neighbours right, who bought previously will still be sitting on some capital appreciation, but not the buyer who buys today. Right. The buyer who buys today actually needs the price to go higher, maybe 1,003, 1,004. And that becomes a question of whether buyers who come in at, you know, in the future are willing to pay such a higher price. So, in terms of appreciation, uh, yes, new launches have more potential, right, okay, uh, even though they're more expensive. Whereas for resale, resale properties, actually, even though the price is a bit lower, um, it is actually a bit more challenging.